Hello YouTube, this is Braden with Midwest Websites, your solution for business website design and search engine optimization. Are you an entrepreneur who's working to get their business off the ground? Save yourself the hours of learning WordPress and building your website by hiring our professional developers. Link in the description below. Today we're going to take a look at a very flexible WordPress plugin that can allow you to add features to your website that look complicated at first glance, but can be implemented so easily that even a novice can use them. This is done using a plugin known as Widget Shortcode. As you can see here, I've installed it by itself so we can see just how it operates in a vacuum. And it isn't going to make a lot of changes to your WordPress admin dashboard when you install it. The change that it's going to make is going to be apparent when you go over into Appearance and then Widgets. Over on the right hand side, you're going to have some options to work with for using your widgets, depending upon your theme and your already existing plugins. On the left, you're going to have a few different options to work with, again, dependent on your theme and existing plugins, for setting up short codes for a variety of different widgets. WordPress by default gives you quite a few different options between videos and galleries and the ability to showcase your comments. To create a new widget shortcode, you can either click on the widget you want to work with, select the section, and click Add Widget, or you can drag and drop one of these bars into one of the sections on the right, and it'll create it for you. Once you've added the widget in question to the section you want, all you have to do is fill in the information for that widget. And then once you've done that, we'll go ahead and sort them by link rating. We'll hit the Save button. And once you hit the Save button, it's going to give you a widget ID. Now, if you want to add one of these widget shortcodes to a page or a post, all you have to do is copy the shortcode after clicking on the widget in question jump over to your posts or your pages, and if you hit the edit option to go in and start working on them, as you can see, I've already pasted one of these widget IDs in here. You can add pretty much as many as you'd like. We'll go ahead and add another recent comments widget in here. You'll hit the update or save button for your page, and then when you go to the page in question, you'll be able to see your widget right where you put it on the page or the post. Nothing too tricky, but allows you to add a lot of complex functionality with very little coding know-how. You don't have to go in and work in your HTML coding or dig through your theme files or rummage through your database to do any of this. It's quick, clean, and elegant, but allows you to do tons of things that aren't normally available to you in nearly so easy a format. And that concludes our tour of Widget Shortcode. Thanks so much for watching the video. If it has been of help to you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out, definitely helps us get this information out to those who need it. And have a great rest of the day.